Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Recently I had a request from someone. They were charting data and values that was the result of an if statement. And in the false part of the if statement was double quotes just to show a blank. However, when they wanted to create a chart, Excel would show those double quotes as zero and they didn't want to show it as zero they just wanted to, sh to have Excel skip over that and go to the next value so the question was how can we create a formula or how can we set the chart options maybe so that it wouldn't show those as zero so let's see how we can do that in Excel so here's our scenario. I have 12 months and I have values populated in column D. And my formula in column F basically says if the number in column D is greater than zero, then multiply it times a thousand. If not, put in double quotes or a blank. And notice there are three places where there's no value in there. We just haven't created one or accomplished or determined what that would be. So it creates this blank here. And so what I want to do here is chart those values. So I'm just going to go to insert recommended charts and I'm just going to put a line chart and say OK. And notice where there's blanks, Excel treats those as a zero. And this person didn't want it to treat it as a zero, just wanted to skip over and go, say, for example, from February right to April and from June to August and just ignore the values in March and July and October and just kind of skip over those. So the question was, how can we accomplish that? Well, if we look at our formula, again, the logical test is, is D2 greater than zero? If, if that's true, then multiply it times a thousand. If not, put in a blank or double quotes. And what we can do is change those double quotes to NA and now when I copy that down, notice Excel just jumps right over those. It ignores that there was anything there and just goes from February to April and June to August in pretty much a straight line. So that solves that part of the problem. However, it kind of created another one in that in this area, I wanted to show blanks, not any kind of error. So how we can accomplish that is through conditional formatting. So if we highlight those cells and go to conditional formatting, new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format, I'm going to type in the formula equals is error and put in cell F2. And my formatting will be to change the color of the text to white. I'll say OK and OK. Now notice, even though it still has an error there, it is formatted to turn that error into a white text so it gives the appearance of a blank. So we've accomplished both things. We've eliminated the chart referencing those double quotes as a zero, and then we've hidden that error message to make it appear as blank. And that's how we can accomplish that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Excelling.